Hi everyone, today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. Um, today I made an appointment since I couldn't get to that. You know, I took and found out I couldn't get to the... Uh, they, they told me they had a spot Friday. I could have got there yet had no way of getting there. Uh, so I made an appointment for today. And I went and got charcoal some medicine. Because uh, his ears said the last time I seen them was in 2022. Um, they also gave me a bunch of Q-tips to help clean his ears out. They took and ended up the the lady. She started cleaning his ears out. That one was just fine on the on the left side, but when I turned him around to the right side, she went in there and touched a spot and he started barking like he was going to attack her but I took and was holding on to him yet she managed to accidentally break the q-tip which is understandable because you know his ear being sore but they took and gave me um Let me see if it says on here. Yeah. This uh tries the chlor uh it's an ear flush, which that's what that's supposed to be. This, uh, this, uh, yes, Otic. I know I'm not too good at the names of the stuff, but yeah, this is the same stuff they gave me the last time his ear got infected like that. They even said that. His ear was infected with, uh, I think they said, uh, might have been staph infection or something, and, uh, some sort of yeast. <clears throat> so, anyways, they, they gave me that for to, uh, get that, which I'm gonna have to give him this stuff here in just, in just a little bit. But uh, the costs involved have definitely went up because of the way things, you know, when I first started going to this vet, this vet charged $25 for an office call. Now it's $65. That uh, thing to test the years I think they charged me ten dollars for that test and let's see here thirty dollars for um, that medicine in the box and twenty dollars for that medicine that in in the bottle that liquid Whenever I took and uh, went before, which they said it was 2020, it was like two years ago or so, and uh, they took and gave me both of them. This time they was only gonna give me the one in the box, but I took and mentioned that one about the ear flush and they even told me doing it differently, so I don't know. But I took and total price was $125 after I took and took back the uh, for, see I had saved back for that uh, la the last bill that I had to pay up there at town and I still got a hold of that right now 
and I had ten dollars that I was going to put towards my layaway for those those four pairs of pants that I put in layaway. The only problem is I won't have I won't have uh, that uh, I won't have uh, that ten dollars to put on layaway, and frankly, once. Uh, the money for that bill has gone. I will have zero dollars left. Technically, I got some money on PayPal. Yet, that was for the dogs. And technically, I can't even get it out of that bank account at all. It's stuck in there until probably next month. And then again, I may not get it then either. I've been holding, waiting to for it to build up. You know. But I guess if I can get to go dumpster diving and like dumpster diving, go dumpster diving, go to them food banks, hopefully I'll be able to make it, but I don't know. It's really hard. Seems like it's gotten harder, you know. Things have gone up so much that you can tell this vet bill is $125. That wouldn't even, that would probably have been maybe about half or a little over you would believe at the time years ago yet the way things are you know the prices are going up because of that thing that happened and I got that for my dogs to have for uh, charcoal's ears which I'm going to have to do that here in a minute well, I thank you for watching. Please share the videos, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. You have a truly wonderfully blessed day and night. God bless you. I love you all.